Thank you for joining me today. I'm in the book of Psalms. I read through the scripture each year, as you understand. And uh, as I go through the scripture, I always come across the Psalms, of course. But I don't read the Psalms straight through, like uh, uh, Numbers 1 through 5, Psalms 1 through 5, and then Psalms 6 through uh, 10, and then Psalms 11 through 15. I don't, I don't do that. I do read five Psalms a day so that I get through the whole of the book of Psalms within a month, but I read it in a little bit different way. I take the day of the month, so if the day of the month happens to be the 22nd of the month, uh, then I would read Psalm 22, and then I would add 30 to that and read Psalm 52, add 30, get Psalm 82, and you can see the pattern here. So then I would also read on that day, excuse me, Psalm 112 and Psalm 142. And my meditation today comes from Psalm 142. But, I, but that's part of the reason why if you tune into these video blogs on a regular basis, you may think that I'm jumping around to uh, all these different psalms at different times. But in reality, I uh, do have a system that I use in order to read the psalms. And the reason I use that system is that there are various different types of literature within the psalms, and they seem to be uh, oftentimes arranged with certain types together. And so by reading in this particular manner, I'm able to touch many of the different kinds of literature in the Psalms. And, and usually if I am struggling with some kind of depression or some kind of low emotion, it's at those times that the psalmist, there's some place in one of those Psalms that I'll read during that day that will have something, some nugget that will encourage me and refresh me. And so it is with uh, this particular psalm today, Psalm 142. Now, if you'll notice in Psalm 142, verse 3, it says that um, when, I, when my spirit faints within me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. The psalmist is feeling a great deal of frustration and uh, even depression. He is recognizing that it's not just his own uh, emotions that are at play here, but he's also recognizing that there are some enemies that are putting a trap there for him. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we may not have a physical enemy that is trying to entrap us. We might, but we might not. But we do recognize that in the spiritual world, if you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have an enemy that is seeking to entrap you as well. And so the psalmist cries out to the Lord that you're my refuge. You're the one that I put my trust in. And that is a proper and a good thing for us to remember. Of course, we see that in several other psalms also. Psalm 46 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 91 speaks about uh, how because we have loved him, he is our strength and provider. That uh, if we dwell securely in the shelter of the Most High, that he will be our refuge and our fortress. These psalms and many more speak of the fact that we can come to him and find our hope in him. When I go through times when I am really low, one of the things that encourages me is not only the Psalms, but I go into an old hymnal and I start reading and singing. It may be that um, you have a, a good singing voice and you can find a place where you can sing, or maybe you are an instrumentalist and you can play some of these songs, soothing and comforting your own heart and your own soul with them. These are important things. That's why a hymnal is so important in our devotional life. And if you don't have a hymnal, I urge you to get one. Go to a Christian bookstore and purchase one because the great hymns of the faith are those that, that truly encourage us. 
It may be that uh, you know of a, of a local congregation, perhaps, that might have some extra hymnals, or maybe they purchase new hymnals and you can get an old one and just take it home and use that for your devotional life. But in this way, you can turn to the Lord as your refuge and you can find strength and you can find help. Whether the affliction that you're feeling is because of your own emotions and your own circumstances, or whether it's because someone from the outside is, is oppressing you and setting a trap for you, whichever it may be, go to the Psalms, go to the hymnal, and, and recognize that God is your refuge. Father, I ask you to help us to take uh, take great pains to find you as our refuge. I pray that we would turn to you with hope and with grace. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I pray, Father, that your mercy would indeed be, uh, be provided for us. Lord, remind us that it's so much better to follow you. And I, I pray that your mercy would be poured out upon us, that you would give comfort and that you would give peace. I don't know who needs this this morning, but I do know that someone does. So meet them in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day now.